What's up guys and uh, welcome to the show. So I figured I'd do a video. Uh, I wanted to do this video for a little while now, but I figured I uh, might as well do it now. Uh, basically I want to do a video on uh, uh, pretty much boxing being uh, a dead sport and uh, YouTube boxing seem to be the uh, way of the future. Um, well, let's just dive right into this, uh, shall we? I'm going to start off by... Uh, I got a, a couple notes and stuff like that. We'll go through some numbers and uh, things like that. So let's just dive right into it. So let me start off the video by saying that boxing's like dead for sure. Uh, but YouTube boxing may very well be uh, what's the thing that actually saves uh, the sport. Now let's look at some numbers. The highest viewed boxing matchup of all time so far uh, has been uh, Mayweather versus Con uh, Conor McGregor. Now this uh, pulled in 6.4 million views. Uh, the second most viewed boxing matchup is Mayweather versus Pacquiao. This did about 4.7 million views. Now let's look at YouTube boxing. Now KSI versus Wheeler did nearly 20 million views. Uh, KSI versus Logan Paul did uh, over 2 million views. Uh, now, according to even HBO Boxing, ratings for the past two years have been at an all-time low. The average boxing match uh, used uh, the average boxing match now doesn't get a uh, now doesn't even reach uh, a million views. Uh, it used to reach between uh, over a million to over two million views. The average boxing match now the average boxing match is anywhere from a hundred thousand to about. Five six hundred thousand um, views. Uh, even Showtime has stated that their ratings for boxing events are at an all-time low and have stayed at an all-time low for a couple of years. Their average boxing match is about six hundred and ten, seven hundred thousand uh, views. It definitely stuns a lot of uh, people, especially a lot of uh, boxing critics and people in the boxing world that. Um, you know, people would rather see a couple of YouTubers uh, box or basically a couple of YouTubers uh, that box each other are getting more attention than any championship boxing match like ever. Uh, most fans, has, some fans have stated that they would rather watch uh, YouTubers boxing each other because YouTubers are more entertaining, they're more charismatic, they're not so one dimensional, they have more of a backstory and they're just more like entertaining and to watch and you know them a little bit better than uh, most boxers. Um, this leads me to believe that of course obviously uh, YouTube boxing may just be the future uh, of boxing. Uh, KSI versus Logan Paul rematch is booked for May, May of 2019. Now of course this is where it gets interesting again and kind of proves that um, YouTube boxing may very well be the future and boxing may actually be dead uh, because KSI versus Logan Paul matchup like I said is stated for May of 2019 it's said to be even bigger it's currently drawing more attention it's currently um, drawing more hype than uh, Mayweather's next fight which is uh, set for the beginning of 2019 where he was going to face uh, UFC fighter Khabib. Khabib. Uh, Logan Paul versus KSI is even getting more attention than that. It's it's getting more attention than uh, Conor McGregor versus Mayweather uh, Part 2 which is scheduled for middle of 2019 and of course it's even getting more attention than um, uh, Mayweather versus uh, Pacquiao, uh, their rematch, which is scheduled for later in 2019. So this matchup of Logan Paul versus KS, uh, KSI is getting more attention than any Mayweather um, matchup because most people you probably can't even tell me um, when um, you know Mayweather's next fight is, but you could probably tell me when the Logan Paul you know matchup is it's just getting so much more attention it's getting so much more media coverage and everything like that everybody's kind of sweeping the boxing thing underneath the carpet but yet the youtube boxing thing's getting more attention it's getting more media coverage it's getting more hype than anything like that i mean this definitely uh leads me to believe that of course like i said before that youtube boxing is the next step in the world of boxing uh youtube's making a ton and a ton and a ton of money off of it which uh, obviously uh, leads me to believe that they want to get more into the 
the boxing business with YouTubers boxing each other and other people, that whole thing. Um, but it's it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, even um, you know Dana White, uh, of course, had, who said that he's not even worried about uh, boxing uh, anymore because uh, their boxing's you know their pay-per-view events aren't getting anywhere near uh, what they used to get. Uh, their live uh, coverage events aren't getting anywhere near what they used to get. They're not touching UFC numbers. They're not touching. You know the YouTube boxing numbers. There's a lot less talk of it. You know, I mean, like, you know. So it kind of leads me to believe that um, you know YouTube boxing is kind of what's going to save uh, the sport of boxing, and that you know, it just the money might be there. But I mean, even the um, boxing commission has you know come out and touched on the subject a little bit uh, about how you know much trouble boxing is and. So I definitely think that we're going to see uh, a rise uh, in the next few years of the whole YouTube boxing thing just because the amount of views that they're, that, that this is getting, the amount of sponsorships that YouTube's getting and the YouTubers are getting from this whole thing. But uh, yeah, so I don't know, that's just a little rant on why I think that YouTube boxing is the future of boxing and that boxing is dead. Uh, let me know if you agree with me or not. You probably don't, but whatever. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know I love you very much. And I will check you in the next video.